Someone just woke up from their nap. She was a little upset, but I think she's feeling better. There you go. We did our morning walk already and she had her nap. And I think we're gonna actually go to an apple orchard, which I've been oh, maybe once years ago with my niece and nephew. So I haven't actually been for a very long time and I thought it'd be really fun to take Sage. And it's not too cold out today. I wanna go before it starts to get like frosty and stuff, but I just wanna get into the spirit of fall. I feel like I've just not, I haven't been embracing it fully. I realize we're kind of matching today in the animal print. But before we hop in, I just want to say a huge thank you to Capital One for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. Matt and I are actually working on this campaign together, which is like so surreal that our like two worlds are combining. So definitely go check out Matt's channel. He does all like the business, financial, entrepreneurship, financial freedom side of things on his account or his channel. Why don't we, do you want your whale? Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Oh, why don't you get your wheel? So definitely subscribe to Matt if you aren't already. He has really helpful videos for everyone. And whether you're looking to be an entrepreneur or just like, you know, an average person looking to invest and be smart with their money, definitely go check out his channel. Sage is stealing this show today. So <laughs> I'll just talk behind you. Yeah. Also, I actually got ready today. I just feel like I've been just feeling blah lately. So today's like, I got ready for the day. We're gonna get into the fall spirit, go get some apples. I wanna decorate the front porch with some pumpkins and maybe even make a pumpkin spice latte, but like a herbal coffee one. Cause I don't drink coffee. Okay, let's go get a snack and then we gotta pack you up to get you ready to go because you need so many things to leave the house. I'm just grabbing a couple of snacks that I meal prepped for Sage just to take on the go so she can have a little lunch. I have these little baby falafels that she really likes and then I also made these baby cookies. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of them to take on the go with us for some snacks and like a light lunch until we get back home. Mama. Mama. <laughs> this girl just wants to eat the whole thing. Would you please? Oh. Someone is not excited for apple picking. Sagey. burlap sacks and these are the Priscilla ones so apparently they're sweet see this is where the good apples are we went all the way to the end where I feel like no one is and there's definitely better apples here. But we're just happy to be outside. We were just saying like, even if we don't get that many apples, like we don't care. I do want to get Sagey picking some though. You want to pick an apple? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hold that one? It's an apple. Wow, right off the tree. You want to put it in the bag? She's like, ooh, apple. Hey. Put it in the bag. Look, drop it in with the rest of the apples. Yeah, drop it. There you go, we'll get another one. <laughs> She's like, what? She's really into it. What do you want to make? Applesauce? Okay, get that one. This is definitely where the good apples are. Okay, <laughs> dude. She's double fisting. Oh, so many good apples. So many apples. Drop it. Look, no, look, watch mom. Boop. Drop it. 
Drop it. <gasps> Look, put in the bag. Yeah, put that one in. There you go, put that one in. Put that one in. Put it in. Put it in. <laughs> 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 Mr. <Miss a> Match. <laughs> hey. Can I give it to Daddy? <laughs> um, yum yum, delicious apple. What are you doing? Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> bang. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> you are so cute. Mm -hmm. Ow. Yeah, bang daddy's head. Ow. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. We're gonna take that one. <laughs> All right, filled up a whole bag. I don't know. I think she said 10 pounds fits in one of these, so I think that is a lot of apples. She's fascinated by like the uh, the butt end of it. I don't even know if that has a name. Got my baby of apples here, <laughs> strapped in. Okay. okay. Trying to cram a cookie in my face. I'm on a diet. We look so fall today. Sweater weather. So it is the next day. Seiji is having a little cookie. Hey, she is uh, part of no nap team. Yes, no nap. She skipped her morning nap, so yeah, you did. Hey, everyone. Um, so yesterday was so much fun, apple picking and stuff, and it was just like cool to do as a family. We were actually talking about this on the way back home, but it was just like, if only we knew what it'd be like now, like a year later, because Sage is gonna be almost one, and this time last year, like we were, there's just like a lot of unknown. Oh, this time last year, I think we were both like nervous of what was to come. Um, you know, she was like, we were in that last month before the baby comes. I think there's a lot of, yeah, just a lot of uncertainty yeah. at that point. Yeah, and like, you know, I hadn't given birth yet. And what was that going to be like? And what was it going to be like adding another member to the family? And any big life change, I think, is just really scary before you know, like, the ending or how it's going to turn out. And that's like with everything. Because I know it's not just like about starting a family. It's like starting a business. Like, if I look back to when I first started Health Net Nutrition, you know, first off, what I thought it was going to be was more like me doing consulting and being a nutritionist and stuff. And like now, you know, I'm able to like work from home. We have a team. I'm able to be a stay at home working mom with Sage. Matt's on pat leave. And like, it's just, I, if only I had known how things would turn out, I probably would have been like even more motivated, but it was definitely like a bumpy road and stuff getting to this point. And even just like getting cashew, like getting a dog. <laughs> Yeah. She's laying some, right here. She's right beside us. Yeah. yeah. There was definitely some times where it was like, oh man, what do we get in for? Now with like cashew, you just think like, man, how how awesome is it to have a dog? But at the time before getting into something unknown, there's always like the what ifs, right? And but it was then, just us and we were only like responsible for taking care of us and now it's like where's cashew staying is someone home gonna be home to feed her and stuff and i feel like it was really good practice for starting a family mm -hmm. and also just like adding like another member to our family like anything we would do like go to the beach or go to the park or go for a walk like it was always more fun with cashew and i know before we got her i've had I had so many people be like you know it's like having a permanent two-year-old blah 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 and it kind of is but they're just like you're never gonna be able to do anything and leave the house and like it's been such, if I had known what our life would be like with a dog, I, I would have gotten a dog sooner. But I, I do feel like we got her at the like the perfect time that we did. Yeah. Because we had gotten this house and, you know, even getting this house and moving away from the city and into the suburbs, there was a lot of like, once again, unknowns. And I was just like, am I going to like living in the suburbs? I was happy to be closer to family. But, <laughs> um, okay, can we not put the whole cookie in your mouth, please? Mm-hmm. 
This time last year is when Matt was starting his channel, which is so crazy because now you post videos every single week. And this is actually a segue to today's sponsor, Capital One Canada, who are sponsoring this video. And it's just such a full circle moment that we get to work together on the same campaign. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You just, and what's really cool. Oh, oh. All right, Seiji went down for her nap. She was getting a little cranky. Oh yeah. Yeah, so she's got Matt's temperament. Yeah. <laughs> And what's really cool is they have this tool called Quick Check from Capital One, and it basically gives you 100% certainty to know which of their credit cards you will be approved for before applying and without hitting your credit score, which is huge. I got to say that's a pretty big deal. I mean, while growing our real estate business and portfolio, I've applied for lots of credit in my time. Um, one of the things I always hated was applying for something and then, you know, hitting my credit score and then not actually getting approved for which which has happened before in the past so if i was able to know ahead of time before even applying that i was going to get approved for something it would have just saved me probably a lot of stress and a lot of headache and it just helps with the planning process to know okay yeah we have this credit to exactly. use and then you can kind of go on with like whatever you're looking to do and like you need credit for everything buying a house renting, renting a house getting a car like any big life's milestone event, like credit is so important. And I used to think like, oh, if I just don't have credit, like it's great. I'm not gonna have any debt or anything, but like no credit is actually bad credit. It's almost worse. Right? Cause like you have no, it's like your resume of how good are you with money? Like good with handling money, paying off money. And fun fact, which is so funny. Cause when they reached out to work with us, they, they were like, is that a true story? I'm like, yeah, it's actually true. Capital one was my first credit card <laughs> ever. It was a green card with a little ladybug on it. And I remember the feeling I got when I got that credit card, it was like this responsibility and ownership. And I felt just like more empowered to be able to handle my finances and like also learn how to do it. Like use credit, pay off the credit. And I feel like those were things that like, because I started so young too, it's like kind of, you know. Ingrained in you? Yeah, and, and then Matt ingrains it into my brain every day. <laughs> so, and it's really cool. You guys should definitely check out the tool. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys to learn more about Capital One's Quick Check tool. Oh, and Matt is actually gonna be doing a video on his channel, so make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'll link it down below as well. And it's we- It's gonna be a great video. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna be in it too. So hopefully we don't kill each other by the end of it. Um, no, I feel like we do good when we film videos together. Yeah, we just, no, we, we, we just cut out. We, we just cut out all the, all the arguing. On and now on mine so now we're just doubling yeah. more and more but it's been fun but yeah we are gonna go go pick up some pumpkins because i want to decorate oh, yeah. the front porch i'm like i'm in full festive fall mood lately so her i want to her more so than me i know matt we picked up a bundle <laughs> a bale, of, a bale of straw yeah matt's like, and like oh, where is that gosh, going gosh, and so much but mess. the guy even like wrapped it up so it didn't make a mess in the car but like matt's face like the guy was like uh is this going in your car and he's like what? I was like, is it? Yeah. Throw it in there. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I want to decorate with this, the straw and get some pumpkins and stuff and, you know, just get into the spirit. I complain, but when it's done, I enjoy it. You so. love it. I know. <laughs> so like, I know. It's one of those things like, oh, I complain at the time. It's like decorating the house. And yeah, anytime like, someone comes uh, over, you're like, let me show you around. I'm like, yeah, you didn't decorate that's true. anything. That's true. So you, you enjoy the after. You just complain during the process. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go shop for some pumpkins. <laughs> These are the cool ones. We're just at a pumpkin patch farm. I think these are called the Cinderella ones. Okay, I think we're gonna grab a couple of these. There are some yellow ones there, but they don't look so great. helping me out so I'm trying to figure out which combination of like pumpkins and the mums I am gonna put one mum in that pot that we picked up 
from the orchard. I'm gonna make, I think, some apple sauce. I have the recipe on my blog. I'm gonna make some of that and then maybe even an apple pie or like apple turnovers. I'm not sure yet. Um, I also ended up going to a farmer's market on the way back and we got some mushrooms, some yellow squash, uh, sweet potato, which we cooked up some for breakfast already, a spaghetti squash, and then these are actually stuff from our garden. We have tons of tomatoes, some peppers, which is really cool that we actually have grown our first peppers this year that did not die. So definitely using up this last bit of garden produce and making some yummy things. This will probably be used for, I have this like Instant Pot chicken, rice, and mushroom dish that I may feature on the blog soon. I'm going to start using up these apples so I can bake them into some delicious stuff before they go bad. So I'm making applesauce today and then I think in a couple days I'll make, I don't know, should I make apple pie or apple turnovers? I was thinking about making a recipe for my cookbook. I'll show you. So I have these strawberry rhubarb hand pies, basically another name for turnovers and they're so good and I feel like I could also make them with apples. That's what they look like on page 196. And the dough, they look like fancy, but they're really, really easy. So I might make those this week. I want something fun to make with the apples. Uh, super simple ingredients. So I'm just gonna probably swap the strawberries and rhubarb the same amount for chopped apple, and then probably just uh, add in some cinnamon to it. So maybe I'll show that in like a future vlog. I feel like that's the best dessert to make out of this. I mean, I could also make my cherry almond jubilee galettes, these guys. I could also make that with the apples, but I think the hand pies will be really, really good. So that is gonna be on our menu plan this week. But I'm gonna make some applesauce. I'm double batching my recipe. This recipe is on my blog. And I'm gonna double batch it because I've been really enjoying it and so it has sage. And this is just like an easy recipe to add to pancakes, yogurt, eat as is. There's just so many things you can do with applesauce. You can bake with it, but it's just delicious right off the stove. And it's so easy to make. It's my two ingredient applesauce recipe and it's like 20 minutes to cook up and you're just blend it and you're done. I'm switching to a vegetable peeler. This is so much easier. <laughs> this guy is like one of my must have kitchen gadgets. I'll link him below. Just like makes it such a breeze. And has like kind of a safeguard so it hits your, hits your palm. So I'm just gonna bring it to a boil and then I will lower it and simmer for 20 minutes. Seiji is having her dinner. Is that good? sauce is ready it smells so good in here so I'm just gonna pop a lid on and then we got applesauce for the week I am just gonna put some laundry away and then I think we're gonna go for a little walk before dinner time but I want to thank you for watching today's vlog also a huge thank you to Capital One Canada for sponsoring this video make sure you check out the links down below to learn more and I am going to enjoy the rest of my night with the fam relaxing and I hope you guys get into the fall spirit and hopefully try to go apple picking, make some applesauce, make some pumpkin lattes, whatever you gotta do to get into the spirit. And oh my God, Sage is crazy. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.